Hey guys, welcome to Laura Lee's Classic Kitchen. And today in my kitchen, I'm gonna be making my version of a healthy granola. It has all natural sugars, and I want you to come on in so I can show you what you're gonna be needing. Right here, I have five cups of old-fashioned oats. And it's important that you use old-fashioned oats because it's more of a meatier texture on the oat itself. One cup of, um, I have pecans here, but you can use any nut that you prefer. One cup of shredded unsweetened coconut flakes. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. One fourth teaspoon of salt. One fourth cup of coconut oil. One tablespoon of vanilla. One fourth cup of coconut sugar. And also one fourth cup of honey. Now this is a pretty simple recipe. I know you can go and buy it in the store and purchase it, but this way you can have control of the sugars and the sodium and things like that that you put into it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all of your dry ingredients, which is the coconut flakes and my nuts. Now you can cut these up if you want to, cause I just left them whole in case somebody wants to pick them out, but you can cut them up and do what you like. And now I'm gonna take my cinnamon and my cinnamon, cinnamon and my salt and place that in there as well. And I'm just gonna give that a mix, quick mix, just like that. So I hope everybody's been doing good. I know it hasn't been um, a long time since I've been on. So I hope everybody has been blessed. Okay, now that you've got that mixed in, the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna place my coconut oil and all of my other ingredients like your sugar, your honey. If you want, you can also use brown sugar in place of the coconut sugar. I think coconut sugar gives it a, a, like a brown sugar taste. Plus, you don't have all the extra added sugars, so it's an all-natural sugar. So I like to use that, but use what you like. It'll still be yummy. And now I'm going to put my vanilla. And I'm going to take this, and you're going to want to put it on a flame, just like a medium, medium flame. And you're just gonna wanna stir it until it's all combined, all of the ingredients, all together. Cause see how it looks like, like brown mush right now? You wanna melt your coconut oil into all of the other ingredients. Cause you don't want the clumps of the oil into your granola. So that's the purpose of this. I have also done it in the microwave and just set it until all the ingredients are melted, but make sure if you do it in the microwave that you um, pay attention that it doesn't boil over in your bowl, because I've done that as well. <laughs> but make sure it doesn't do that and you watch it and keep an eye on it. See how it's getting? And I'm gonna continue to stir this until it comes to a, like a simmer. starting to boil and bubble right there, that's when you want to turn off the heat. And 
that's how it's all combined. Now you're gonna wanna place all of your ingredients, of your wet ingredients and your sugars into the bowl. Let me bring that right there so you can see it better. Just get all those out of there. Now the main key to this right here is make sure on this part, a very important step, is to make sure all of your oats are covered. You want each oat covered so you can get all of those flavors throughout your granola. Because if they're not covered, you're gonna be missing some of that yumminess going on in there. And I've also added like chia seeds and just make it your own. It's going to be your granola, whatever you like in it, place it in there. Just makes it extra yummy. See how that's getting all through those oats. If you use the if you use the the um the fast cooking oats, it's gonna kind of make it mushy. That's why I like to use the old fashioned oats. It gives it that extra bite. I think all of them are covered all the way through. So now that you have all of your oats covered, you're gonna get a pan. So I'm gonna get a pan right now and then I'll be back with you guys. I'm back and I have my pan. This pan that I have, it's a, it's like a half sheet pan. And I've lined it with these like copper mats or silicone mats you can line it with. You can use parchment paper or if you don't have any of those, just take like a, a spray, spray oil and spray it before so you don't have anything that sticks. Now you're also going to be needing um, a half a cup of raisins or craisins, whatever dry fruit you like, you're going to add that at the end it's very important you add it at the end and not mix it into your mixture because the raisins are one gonna either get like burnt or plump up too much it's it's not good i've done it before so <laughs> don't do that so any of your dry fruit you're gonna want to take it and place it afterwards so now i'm gonna that's just a quick tip guys so now you're gonna take all of your oats and place that into your pan. Make sure what the key to me is because I like to have like clusters in my granola. So the key to get clusters is to spread it out evenly. Make sure that all of your oats and all of your ingredients are touching and that's going to give you some great tasting clusters and great tasting granola see you just want to make sure it's even because you don't want um, one side to cook more than the other that won't be good either you want it to kind of cook evenly so you're just going to continue to even it out and flatten it out just like that and get that little kid in the corner <laughs> he's feeling a little lonely and left out come on that little nut is stuck all righty i think it's pretty even okay now when you make this, you're gonna wanna make sure preheat your oven to 300 degrees. It's gonna be a low cooking heat, and that way it'll cook evenly and crispy throughout. You don't have to stir it, which is less of a hassle for you guys. So now I'm gonna place it in my oven for about 35 minutes to 40. Just depends on your stove. Goodbye, kids. See you in a bit. Okay guys, it's been about 35 minutes now. And now we're gonna check the granola. 
and it's perfect. If you want it a little crisper, leave it in for longer, but I think this is perfect. Right now, the most important thing you're going to do with this granola is you're going to let it sit because that way you want the clusters to form in there. Because if you, one, start eating it right now, it's just gonna like be soft and you're gonna say, oh, it's not cooked, but it really is cooked. You just gotta let it sit for about 15 minutes or until cooled. And then once um, it's cooled, I'll show you what's gonna be happening. Alrighty guys. It's been 15 minutes and this is what I was telling you about. See how it's nice and firm now? That's, you're going to get your clusters with that. Look at that. See? That's how you want it. You want the cluster. Well, at least that's how I like it. I like those little clusters on there. And it's nice and crispy. You can break them up how you want them. Smaller, bigger. And at this point, you're going to add your dry fruit, any dry fruit, just as long as you use like um, whatever you like. I mean, make it your own, guys. That's what's nice about granola is you can make it your own. It's so versatile. I like, I'm going to get in here with my hands, guys, because this is how I normally do it. Not drop it all over the floor like I just did, but... This is how I normally do it. So Cody, taste that. Okay. Mm -hmm. My camera guy, some of that. You just want to mix it up. Once you get it all mixed up and incorporated, you're gonna want to place it in a like a seal tight container. I have this one that I had made the other day, it stays for at least like a week, week and a half, fresh and, and good, but normally doesn't last in my house that long. Cause you can use it for, um, to top it over your yogurt, or you can just eat it as a snack, or in the morning, my youngest, Christian, he likes to, um, put it in a bowl with some milk and he eats it like a cereal so hey whatever you like or no on put it in there so now I'm gonna taste this for you guys okay let's see if I can talk the end mm. it's always my issue guys talking and eating Mm. But the shredded coconut in there is so good. It's like all toasted. The nuts are toasted and you get that extra sweetness from your raisins or craisins or whatever you like. It just brings out that nuttiness flavor together. But until next time... Where I'll welcome you into my home. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Laura Lee's Classic Kitchen for more of these delicious recipes. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye.